Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the last episode, we took the challenge directly to Team Galactic in a full-scale rescue mission, with the hopes of taking down the wrathful might of Commander Jupiter, and bringing her down by quite a few pegs, saving the bike shop owner of Returna City, as well as preparing for our journey into the deep depths of Mount Cornets and the dangers that lurk within as a nice little shortcut towards even grander adventures in the eastern region of Sinnoh. So, with that being said, we technically head into what would be the Mount Moon of the Sinnoh region. So, honestly, it's definitely going to be quite a nice little journey, since, uh, although this is more of a late-game mountain, it is definitely somewhere where we have to actually, you know, get ourselves into. Oh, and that's a nice little interesting Pokemon to start things off. <laughs> Gotta like uh, seeing Chingling for sure. But let's see here. We can technically catch it, just because of the fact that it can be, you know, interesting to have for later if we ever need to worry about Psychic type Pokemon. Or, you know, just having a Psychic type Pokemon for Poison types. But, um, oh! Just like that? Cool. <laughs> there we go, we got ourselves a Chingling, just like that, <laughs> That's which was quite easy. Hmm, interesting. But Chingling's data will now be added to your Pokedex. Chingling, the Bell Pokemon, type Psychic. 8 inches tall, 1.3 pounds. It emits cries by agitating an orb at the back of its throat. It moves with flouncing hops, and you can actually see that orb every time it goes near the top area of through its right cheek there. But definitely quite an interesting little Pokemon though. Obviously I'll give him a name later, but definitely interesting to have just to, just for like a Pokemon in general, just because Chingling and um, I always Chimeco are definitely quite interesting Pokemons. But um, hello. Well you're definitely Team Galactic. <laughs> nice little uh, costume there, bud. According to one theory Mount Cornet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should be have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because a human spirit is weak, an incomplete strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Hmm. Well, says you though, but but uh, basically what he just said is, who killed the world? You did, I did, we did. But um, huh, interesting. And also, if you guys know that reference, uh, good on you. <laughs> That's all I got. All I gotta say with that one. But um, actually, before we go running off, thought so. I thought that looked weird for a random rock in the middle there. Good thing for just in general for free items and stuff. But we'll definitely take the little rocky path over here. One, because I want to see if we get lucky with uh, not getting a Geodude spawn. And two, well, because it seems like it's a different type of shortcut for lesser Pokemon spawns, even though we technically just got one for, you know, running through. I actually, I could have caught this matchup if I wanted to. <laughs> Didn't think about it until I accidentally hit the attack button. But, uh, sorry matchup, but... Now, Nala definitely smacked you into next week. But let's see if we get any Geodudes just because it's about like 50%. No? Hmm. Okay. Seems like it's much lower in this game. But yeah, definitely it was worth seeing. And it looks like... Oh, okay. So there's our small shortcut through Mount Cormat. And actually it was less dangerous than I expected it to be. Just because of the fact that, it's, uh, well, technically 208 is still part of it. And I did not expect you to turn around. <laughs> You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Um, say that to the guy that was at the front of this place. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. But, uh, you might want to worry, uh, worry a little bit about that. And the fact that you're using a Geo dude is not gonna help you out. I'm gonna be honest. Just because, uh, Geo dude, although Geo dude can be really good, the thing is, is you don't really use Geodude for the most part when it comes to battles. Because the thing is, is obviously you're going to use like 
at least Graveler with an Eviolite or, you know, Golem. Specifically, um, a self-destruct Golem with, uh, what do you call it, uh, through the Alola region. Just because of the ability that, you know, Golem has. But, um, yeah, definitely, what was it, Galvatize, I think it was? I never actually got to use one, but I heard they were really strong. But, uh, although, yeah, obviously it's, you know, it's gonna completely devastate your own Pokemon. It does add stab to it, so same type attack boost to self-destruct, which is terrifying. Just because of the sh sheer damage that self-destruct can normally do. But because we're not doing much damage here, I think it's about time we swap. And actually, I think Carmen can actually have a nice fun time with this. Because Geodude is rock ground type. So, Carmen is definitely going to get a 4 times boost from this. So, this is actually literally like Carmen's playhouse here. So, uh, sorry Geodude, but we're actually going to finally get some experience for good old Carmen here. And maybe get the... Just in general, the stats that we need, because we still need that friendship boost. And if we can get that, we'll definitely be in a good situation for Carmen. Just because the more friendship we can get, the faster we build it, we'll definitely be closer to, well, getting our Roselia. And then, you know, preparing for Roserade later, but I'll definitely say just getting the Roselia is definitely our first step to be worrying about, not the Roserade. Um, I'm grown up. But I've got served by some little kid. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you were the one that was thinking you were gonna win. Sorry. But you should have you should have asked how the hiker at the very beginning of Mount Cornet um dealt with us and he didn't even have a chance either, so uh I don't know man. <laughs> you should have thought one that one out, to be honest. So being all cocky about it with Geo Dudes is not really the smartest thing. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? I could have just gave you something, bud. If you're starving, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't know how much food my guy has, but yeah, we could give you something, Jonathan. But here we go, Onyx. Now that's a Pokemon that can be a problem and a half, depending on uh, how this works out for Nala, because I forgot to swap out Nala. Because maybe Nala isn't the best person. Best Pokemon. I don't know why I almost said person, but best Pokemon to deal with the. Uh, Rock type, uh, well, technically, you would think Onyx has like a rock dragon, but he's not a dragon type. It's always weird. But, or rock snake. But, yeah, definitely, you do need to be careful with electric types and rock types, specifically. Thankfully, he's only going for bind, which, bind can be a problem, but the thing is, is if you spam it like he is, it's not really too much. It is doing a lot of damage over time, for sure. But the thing is, is the initial bind doesn't do really anything. Because, as you see, he's doing like 2 damage down with bind. But, when it starts actually, you know, constricting us, then it's doing like 10 damage. But definitely, he could use something else and he probably would actually have a chance here. I will be honest. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't only just no bind. I'm pretty sure it probably knows Rock Throw and some other stuff, so it's kind of weird that it's only using one move. But, sorry Onyx, but you gotta try harder than that, bud. But Bugs is now level 20, we'll definitely take that. As well as Double Kick, that is good. That's exactly what I want, because we need a fighting type move, and that can actually be really helpful. Um, because Pound is basically Quick Attack, but not, uh, you know, first initiative, might as well just get rid of Pound, there's no reason for Pound anymore. But we'll definitely take the Double Kick, because Double Kick could definitely be helpful. But down you go, Jonathan. You still want the food, though? We were starved for food, and now we're starved for a win. Oof, I'm sorry, bud. Well, you didn't have to do a battle for, for food. Can I just hand him something? I feel even hungrier. Maybe I'll chow down on some berries. But should I really eat berries? What am I, a Pokemon? Uh, I don't think you have to worry about that one. I'm pretty sure, what do you call it, uh, people can eat the poffins, which are made of berries. So, even though they're treats for Pokemon, but they're, I'm pretty sure they're edible for anything. It's just that they're specifically supposed to be for Pokemon. 
but uh, I think you'll be fine. And that looked very suspicious. It's just a random not patch of grass here. But I'll take the jar of honey. Also, is that a person down in the bottom right? Or am I hallucinating? Because that definitely seems like a weird spot to put a trainer. Just because he normally wouldn't be running from the bottom right here. So normally, I don't think that trainer would be able to actually see you. And also because I did bring up the fact that we could have caught, caught a match up, just because of the fact that, you know, Pokedex entries and stuff. Since every game has different entries and different things you can learn about Pokemon. But uh, looks like that Pokeball didn't work, even though it was really close. Although he might actually knock out N Nala here for free. I do want to see- nope, okay. Yeah, that first Pokeball maybe worked, but second one did not have a chance. Okay, one more, and then if it doesn't work, then we'll just leave the match up alone. I just want to see if we can catch one. Because I don't want to spend my, you know, the whole episode trying to catch one Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> if it's something we'll use, obviously, I'll spend a little bit more time on it. And obviously, I would cut for it if it was too long. Like, like what would happen with Alice, our Swablu. But, yeah, <laughs> if it was going to be like that, we might as well just leave the match up alone, because... I probably more than likely won't even use it. I just wanted to, you know, see a little bit about it. Um, this person looks like one of those psychic type users. So we probably should use Mozart here. But I think we'll be... Let's try Bugs, actually. I'm gonna see what we can do here. Thing is, is we still can't use Alice because of my own rules. Oh no, you're fighting. Okay, I thought you were somebody else. Don't say a word, just take it. Obtained an odd keystone. Thank you? Uh, what did you just put in my backpack and why? Wait a minute. It sounds familiar, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. Just because, obviously, it's been a while. Okay, I know exactly what that is. A vital item that is needed to keep a stone tower from collapsing. Voices can be heard from it occasionally. Okay, so... This is specifically for Spiritomb, although I don't know where you would put it. So, noted for later, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I got no clue on that. Just because, obviously, it's going to be a specific area for sure. Berry Master's House, free berries available. Hmm, okay. I see a citrus berry. Oh no, that's a pinap berry. Okay, I thought that was citrus. If it was citrus, I would have took it. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything I can currently use, but we'll take on a battle real quick. Oh, you want to have a battle? Yeah, sure. I was meaning to enter a super contest sh show, but beating you won't take long. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to do a friendly battle, but apparently you're doing this to win some kind of contest. So, uh, maybe we should have rescinded our offer. But here we go, Combi. Okay, that's not too bad. Bug flying, though. So... Technically, we can't use our new quick attack, or not quick attack, a uh, double kick on it. But quick attack can still do some decent damage. Struggle bug, though. Okay, that doesn't do anything. But I think it lowers special attack. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so we're, we don't even use special attack on <laughs> on our little bugs here, or our Baneary. So we don't even need to worry about that, but still. Definitely something to note, just because that can be a problem later. Okay, so now we got a Roselia. Roselia can definitely be something we can worry about. But the thing is, is at the same time, because we already can kind of already know what's going to happen with this Pokemon, because we're currently raising one, I think the best thing here we could possibly do is obviously go for a nice little Fury Cutter for Bug-type moves. And actually, I just thought of that. Hmm. Usually that would be super effective, but because of the poison typing, actually makes it just normal effective. I didn't think about that until... Huh. I always thought that it was always super effective even with poison. Huh. Okay then. You learn something new every day. Huh. That's actually something I did not know. But Carmen's now level 23. Another level for us. And in order to get the evolution with friendship, you do have to level. I'm pretty sure. So... That'll definitely answer our questions if we're close enough or not. Um, oh, you have us beaten. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Looks like you gotta try harder for that contest. And then, 
next time you get to try so. Also, what's going on with you, bud? Oh, you are a trainer. I thought you weren't one. I thought I ran past you without you, you know, chasing us. But apparently you are a trainer. You and I, let us create a scene. A fantastic tableau of battle. Okay. Well, that's definitely French, but I've never heard tableau said before. But okay, then. Huh. Oh, here we go. Mime Jr. <laughs> okay, Mime Jr., of course. Okay, I was expecting Smeargle, though, to be honest. But Mime Jr. works. Because, you know, Mime Jr. is definitely a Pokemon that uh, can be seen as an artistic Pokemon. So, I definitely can't see it. The only thing is, is Copycat. Okay. Well, now it knows Quick Attack. But, it doesn't really help you at all, I'm gonna be honest. So, good thing I didn't use Double Kick, or that would have been actually, you know, bad. Oh, you want me to keep using it? Okay, I'll definitely keep hitting you with Quick Attack. <laughs> That's a move that you should only use in a double battle. But, uh, yeah, sorry, my, uh, my Junior. It's usually something you'd use on your partner. But, uh, yeah, that did not work out for him whatsoever. Okay, what's your next Pokemon? Bonsly. Okay, Bonsly can definitely be an easy Pokemon for bugs here. Because the thing is, is Bonsly's a Rock-type Pokemon, since Sudowoodo is basically fake wood, is what the name is. So, if it's the baby version of Sudowoodo, obviously, <laughs> let's just- oh yeah, because we're quick attack. I thought it would end because Mime Jr. was gone, but we can't use our double kick yet. We'll get to use it soon. Oh, you got Copycat too. Really? I thought- I didn't know Bonsly can use- Huh, that's interesting. I did not know that Bonsly could use Copycat like that. That's an interesting move. But fake tears is something I remember. <laughs> yeah, that's one that can drop our attack, right? No special defense. That's- okay, that doesn't really bother me too much. Because the thing is, is I don't think Bonsly is a special attacker. At all. I think it's more physical and defensive than anything else. The mimic. Okay. So, oh, now you. Okay, wait. Okay, so Copycat lets you use the same move. And then, okay. I get it. <laughs> I was trying to remember, I'm like, I thought he already used that. Because the thing is, it's like, mimic is definitely, you know, you use the same move, but. I always thought Copycat was the same thing, but apparently there's two variations to that. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's Smeargle that uses- okay, now I remember. Smear Smeargle uses Mimic, or the, the ability where it can copy moves and stuff like that. Completely. And that's why Smeargle is one of the best Pokémon, because you can literally build anything on him. So, but yeah, definitely- okay, well that's interesting. I always thought that was a one move, but- Okay, well, level 25 for Mozart is definitely good. But down goes William. Thanks for teaching me a couple things, bud. Magnificent. I am aglow with inspiration. Well, no problem, buddy. And also, that's a lot of money. Thanks. <laughs> we'll definitely take that $1,000. That's actually really helpful. Just because repels do get expensive, and I'm definitely going to have to use some later in. Just because once we start dealing with actual caves um, and cave systems... That's when we're gonna definitely gonna want to worry about repels and having the ability to move freely. Because the thing is that some caves can have like very limited Pokemon. That's just something from every game. So if you don't want to be swarmed by Zubats for 20 minutes, <laughs> it's definitely a good thing to use for caves. But if you say um if you say Hearth Home City, I only say this: Super Contest shows. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Um, yeah, I think Clefairy is a pretty good Pokemon for it. <laughs> Interesting thing for him to say. But, uh, huh, yeah, that's a pretty decent Pokemon, I think. And I think you can get Clefairy in Mount Cornet, I'm pretty sure. But, um, Hearth Home City is a great place. Every year, it gets voted the most desirable place to live in the Sinnoh region. Well, if they're holding contests here, it would make a lot of sense. And here we are, good old Hearth Home City. Apparently... Something's got our attention. Oh, hey, when bugs get out of his Pokeball. I'm joking. That's obviously not ours, but still. Um, oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, 
Who knows how far away my Baneri could have run. Baby Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. Okay. I'm Kira. Of a, I'm a Super Contest Show Judge. Nice to meet you. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Um, okay. We'll see you later, Kira. I don't know if we'll be able to easily spot you out, but um, just because I'm not sure if that's like a, a model we'll see again. I don't want to sleep well off the top of my head, obviously. But uh, let's see here. Hearth Home City, warm and kind. <laughs> I like the grins on the fisherman. You can see it easier from this angle. <laughs> but yeah, he's definitely pretty funny. Also, we can see somebody interesting over there, too. That's definitely an interesting uh, design, just because if we look at our trainer card and look at our badges, we can definitely see that that is the... Oh, well, wait, is there's an easier way to do this? Just because... Okay, there we go. As we can see, that's the fifth gym leader. Huh, well, nice to see her early. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's definitely make our way into Hearth Home City, though. Although, probably won't be here long if the, you know, the 5th gym leader is here. Since, obviously, we're not going to be challenging the 5th gym leader this early. But the Poffin House? Delicious Poffin smiles for all. And, like I was saying with, th with that one guy. Ooh, Cathedral. Hello. This is interesting looking. Ooh. This is very interesting looking. Is that supposed to be Mount Coronet, or am I crazy? I think it's supposed to be, but I can't tell off the top of my head. Um, and there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Uh, huh. Maybe this person could say something for me. That people are lonely is only natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal some sadness, though. Uh, huh. Okay, then. Maybe this guy knows more. He seems like he knows what's going on here. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirits. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is such a wondrous cycle. Crafting? You can't really craft in this game, but at the same time, uh... Pokemon Legends Arceus was released when the remake was made. So technically, yeah, crafting can be a bit tedious, because you craft quite a bit in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I would like to do that game for you guys, but the thing is, is I feel like it's more of a streaming game. Just because you have to catch a certain amount of Pokemon and get a certain amount of points in your Pokedex to continue further. And apparently, I haven't beat the game. Apparently, if you catch every Pokemon and get all the points required to get, like, the master rank in the game, there's another ending. So, as well as catching every single Pokemon as well, it gets you something as well. So, yeah, there's quite a bit to it that I'm not really sure about, but Contest Hall, calling all enthusiasts. Well, let's definitely say hi to our fifth gym leader. Hello. Nice to meet ya. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse me more. Are you entering a super contest show? Yep. Um, what about you? Um, oh ho. Enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Bettina, the Hearth Home City gym leader, also happens to be a super con- Um, happens to be a super contest show expert. Uh-huh. Um, and you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Bettina. Um, you may challenge me, but not yet. You must become stronger. Um, much stronger then you may be at the moment. So, then you can maybe challenge me later. Okay. Well, see you later, Fatina. Nice to meet you. <laughs> but yeah, definitely with that being the fact that she's here, she's definitely not going to really help us when it comes to, you know, being ready for our gym challenge in this town because this is definitely her home when it comes to her, like, to the gym because the gym is actually her gym in this town. It, I do remember that quite quite clearly. Although I thought she was the fourth gym leader. I don't know why. But um, yeah, definitely this is her her town. So we don't need to be worrying about the gym challenge here. But we do want to check out the Super Contest show since we were told to come over here. Um, oh, my hero. Hello. Oh, hey, Mom. Uh, oh, hi, Spooks. Hey, long time no see. Um, wait, no really, 
Johanna is your mom, so you might be a super contest show star. Oh, the mom actually has a name in this game? That's actually surprising. Johanna. Huh. Um, oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to spooks about super contest shows. Well, you did watch them on the TV before we left, so technically we knew you did something with them. At least, at least watch them, as a, that is. Um, I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this sticker. Obtained the ethereal sticker C. Okay, ethereal. So that'd be like ghost type, technically. Um, place that sticker on one of your ball capsules before a show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a judge, um, so come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Um, okay, Johanna. I'll see you later. Hmm. Well, she seemed pretty nice. Although she doesn't look like we'll be running into her again. Obviously, she'll be a judge of the contest, but we won't really see her much, I'm pretty sure. Um, were you surprised to see me, Spooks? Um, kinda. I got bored, so I came out to Hearth Home City for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering Super Contest shows? Not dressed that way. It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you just shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. Obtained a tuxedo. Thanks. Uh, not sure how that's going to look, but I'll take it. Um, I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy your Super Contest shows, honey. Um, shows will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Well, see you later. Oh, and she's literally leaving. Okay, well, thought you would stay for at least one of the shows, but yep, she gone. But because I did say to throw in something onto a ball capsule, well, let's definitely take a look around. Actually, let's see what our Pokemon is, because I said we would do one. So... Let's definitely check our Pokemon before we just throw one right into it. Because there's a way to check this. Well, th this is also something we need to do. If we want to actually do good in the challenges, this is something you should pay attention to. Because there's five different uh, contests. And, well, you need to have a lot of that stat in order to do it. And that's via Poffins, I'm pretty sure. Because Poffins are definitely something, but here we go. So we got Double Kick, Defense Curl... Baby doll eyes. For 10 seconds, Miss Notes will not be judged. Miss Notes. I don't remember anything like that. Height points gained will increase by 3 if Groove is positive. Okay. Now that could be interesting. So it could be 4 if your Groove is good. Okay, so maybe this would be our good Pokemon. Although, is none of the moves specifically... That's interesting. So nothing specifically for certain things, really. Is that really the case? So you can use anything now. Huh. Okay then. That's interesting. So it's all about stats now. That, okay. Cool. Well, that works out. You're going to be entering a Super Contest show, but I don't see a Poffin case. It could be tough for you to win in contest shows without one, but if you're determined to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to get in some practice at the counter on the right. Okay. Well, I'm probably just going to run right in just because there's no reason to worry, I'm pretty sure. The contest ranks. Oh, it shows us all our ranks for everything, but we're in normal rank at the moment, which shouldn't be too bad. Welcome to the contest hall. I can help you with registering for a Super Contest show. Would you like to enter a Pokemon in a Super Contest show? Yes and no at the same time. Let me... I actually... I forgot about the ball capsule. I, this is something I need to put in just because, well, that's how it's going to work. So definitely it's going to be bugs just because I see that working for us. But the thing is, is do we have a sticker for bugs? That is the real question. Okay, actually this ethereal sticker might be good for Pokemon other than just, uh, you know, ghost types. So this might actually work for us. This definitely seems more for one for for just in general for Carmen. But good to see that there's quite a bit of variety between everything. But I'm definitely going to say let's go for the ethereal for now. 
and just use that one single one for the time being. Oh, we can actually preview it. Okay, well, let's check it out, since that's actually nice that they show it. Small, but I think with the more and more you throw onto it, the more and more, you know, obviously different effects are going to throw out with the Pokemon. You're just going to need a lot of stickers to do it for every single one of yours, but definitely cool. Okay, yeah, we're definitely ready now, so let's say we're going to enter. Which contest show would you like to enter? Um, well... Because of the fact that it is a Beniri, I think the best one would either be Beauty or Cuteness. So let's do the Cuteness contest, I think. Which rank would I like to enter? Obviously the normal rank. So let's take the normal one, and then prepare ourselves for great rank, obviously, but we're only going to do one, obviously, but it's just in general. Please choose a Pokemon to enter, as well as this contest move. Okay. Well, I want to definitely use our bugs. So Bugs is definitely going in, and we're going to try with this uh, Groove of 3 positive. That sounds like it's going to be pretty good, because if we can get 4 positive points other than just 3 as the base, it sounds like it will be pretty good. But please choose a Ball Capsule to use in the contest show, obviously that one, and be sure to select a style before you start. Okay, style you say. Um, sure. Um, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, oh. Yeah, this is what they meant. Ooh, that tuxedo is actually not bad. Compared to what we normally wear, that's actually really good. Although I look like a, like right out of royalty though with that, but definitely interesting. Huh. Actually, I don't hate that at all. That's actually something really nice. I like that costume and the coloring. So, I'll definitely say I probably would actually wear that. But, uh, well, let's go right into the contest then. Super contest show, cuteness contest, normal rank. <laughs> Entry number one, Spooks and Bugs. Entry number two, Zane and Stubby. Stubby. <laughs> uh, poor, poor Pokemon Ian and Wiggy. And Lacey and Whiskers. Well, two Barboaks. Interesting. But the Barboak named Stubby, though. Oh, okay, we have to press A whenever it shows up. Okay. Well, when do I... I see a thing where I use my move. So I'm going to use Quick Attack real quick just in case, just so we have it, and then I guess it sets up for later, but it's definitely interesting. It's like, um, what do you call it? Uh, obviously, uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Why do, why do I not have the name in my head? I'm trying to think of the name, but I can't think of it. Guitar Hero, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't get it in my head, but yeah, definitely interesting. We're getting a bunch of brilliance though, so I think as long as we keep getting greats and a bunch of points, we'll definitely, you know, do pretty good here. Because so I don't think the first one's going to be too hard, for the most part. Although getting points is definitely not going to be the easiest thing. But definitely, with the fact of how everything's working, we're definitely getting quite a decent amount. And it looks like the other Pokemon are using their moves um, near the end. Don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think we did decent. What a successful Super Contest show. Let's see how you all did. Okay, we got a little bit of a rank. It's time to announce the stars of the show. Okay. Well, we did not do good, I think. Ian and Wiggy. Okay. Well, we didn't win, but why did I do bad? Oh, visual. Okay. But the move didn't do anything either, so... Maybe Quick Attack is just not good. Hmm. Okay, then. Unless there is typings to them and it just can't see them in-game anymore, because you used to be able to see it. So maybe that's the problem. I'm not, I'm not sure. But definitely interesting. It's much different than it used to be. Um, we look forward to your participation another time. But yeah, it used to be like an actual battle kind of thing. But you're not battling the Pokemon. You're Obviously, your Pokemon's out and it looks like a battle. But, um, everyone has turns, and depending on the amount of points you get, it puts you in the first in the turn order, or it puts you in the last in the turn order. And then, Pokemon before or after you can actually affect you during your point, um, point gaining and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to explain it, and also, where am I heading before I just run right into a place, just so I can see where we're going? Amity Square, Westgate, stroll with your Pokemon. Stroll with my Pokemon, you say. Um, let's check it out. Just because it seems interesting. And also, 
Do you? Yeah, you do have a Pikachu. I thought so. My Pikachu seems delighted to be out of its Pokeball for a walk outside. I can tell because its cheeks are twitching like crazy. Hmm. Okay then. Are we able to just go right in? In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with this cute Pokemon. Cute Pokemon, you say? Okay. Let's head into Amity Square and see what we can do. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to take for a stroll? Oh. <laughs> of course, poor Carmen doesn't count as cute. That's... that's mean. But it looks like we can bring Bugs out. So, oh, there we go. And Primplup as well. Cool. So Weston and Bugs are out. Okay, your other Pokemon can go on ahead to the square and play. Okay, so at least, you know, some of your Pokemon can go in here. It'll be waiting for you in the square, so have a great time. Okay. Well, I only wanted to check out what this was, just because I was curious. It looks like, okay, so it's a Poffin making thing. Um, well, because we already did the contest, I don't think it really matters. But definitely interesting, just because of the fact that... You know, I wasn't expecting, you know, something like this in here. But there is some interesting stuff I see. There's an amulet coin just waiting for us for some free monies. As well as another item over here. Being a spooky plate. Huh. Interesting uh, plate with the fact that, you know... Oh, actually... Oh, wait a minute. Also, you need to move there, Bugs. You almost caught me trapped there. That's interesting. Okay. So there was a... One of the plates of, uh, well, plates of Sinnoh here. I was not expecting that, just because I didn't expect the story on there. Just because, uh, what do you call it, uh, I forgot that that does that in this game. But, uh, bunch of free moves and, uh, just plate, or just items in general that we can use. So, Spooky Plate is usually good for Ghost-type Pokemon. It lets you, obviously, you know, use stronger Ghost-type moves. Er you know, just in general, it's not, like, specifically the best item, but it's only going to be used for ghost-type Pokemon. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again so I soon, okay? Uh, sure. Oh, uh, something else? Oh, it looks like the Pokemon that was taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of their Pokeballs outside the square as well. Oh. Really? Okay. Let's check that out. Since that's definitely brought up for a reason. And it looks like... Okay, so Bugs has a star on him now. So I'm guessing it's already set. So let's see how this works, because... Based on what he's saying, it sounds like I can walk around with my Pokemon, and we definitely can. Cool! <laughs> so we're gonna have the feature from the Johto games in here. That's pretty cool. Or even Let's Go had that as well. But definitely cool, I'll take that. So Bugs is looking at you blankly. <laughs> okay, well, welcome outside your Pokeball, bud. And let's see your hearth home city gym. Gym leader Fatina, the alluring, soulful dancer. If I remember correctly, Fatina is ghost type. I think I said poison type before because I was kind of like... Because I was going based on color typing. And that's usually a good way to ch tell what a trainer is going to use based on their theming of their, like, color scheme for gym leaders. But it seems like I was completely off on that one. Pokemon fan club, all trainers welcome. Usually these fan clubs are important to go into sometimes. Because they're in every single game, for the most part. So, and they usually give you something. So, let's see what's going on in here. Hello, hello. How I say do you do? I'm the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because giving Poffins is a way to express your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin to the Pokemon eating it, would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add coolness to a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Oh, cool. So, there we go, we got ourselves a Poffin case. I'll definitely take it. I urge you to fill it with Poffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Okay, well, thanks. Anything else in here? Because there's another person. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, your bugs. Hmm, it seems to dislike you a little. Well, that's a little mean. But, 
because this person is actually bringing that up, let's see if uh, how Carmen is doing, because this will tell us how close it's warming up to you. That's my impression. Okay, so we're getting close then. So, not like directly there, but we're definitely getting close. So it's good to know, but I need a Soothe Bell though. I really do think that we're definitely going to need one of those later, just because it will definitely help out when it comes to just in general. Oh, hey, Barry. Long time no see, bud. And apparently I got here before you. <laughs> Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Spooks. Let's see how much tougher you and I have uh, gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You expected to be ready for battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Okay, true, but, uh, what do you got for us, Barry? Because I was not actually expecting you, to be honest. So good thing I healed before actually leaving town, since we did that as soon as we got here. It's Starly, okay. Well, it looks like you're staying with Starly, which is definitely not a bad thing for us. But we do want to keep with the quick attacks here, I think. Because same type attack boost is definitely going to be good. But double team can be bad depending on how long the Starly is on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked too. <laughs> okay, what kind of wicked thing do you got for us, bud? It's gonna try, have to try pretty hard, dude. The uh, double team is definitely not, you know, that impressive. It's just double team, but uh, it can be problematic just because of the fact that uh, depending on how many, you know, evasiveness boost he gets. It's better on a, like, a tanky Pokemon that can stay alive a lot longer, but uh, it can be bad on a strong Pokemon. But uh, yeah, definitely, at least we got out, got it out of the fight early. Oh, Buizel. Okay, Buizel can definitely dampen things, but the thing is, is we do have Carmen, and this would be a good fight for Carmen as well. So Carmen, I hope you're ready, because uh, you're going to eat, eat pretty good right now, because Buizel is definitely not ready for a Grass-type Pokemon, even if you're a Baby-type. So, definitely should be fine, although the Bite is definitely not good to get hit by. Because the thing is, is losing our turn for a Bite could be bad. But the thing is, is well, if it doesn't make me lose my turn, it wouldn't really matter. But he's going for Tail Whip, which means we're perfectly fine. Okay, good. Although we did lose a little bit of defense, we still have a good amount of initiative to the point where now we have a for sure knockout on Weasel, even if he does make us lose one turn. And he went for Tail Whip again. Well, you do have two tails, but I'm gonna be honest. Using Tail Whip twice here was not your smartest suit here, bud. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> You're better off just spamming Bite. I'm gonna be honest there, bud. But down you go. Level 24 for, for Nala, we'll definitely take it. Sadly, not a level for Carmen, but Roar, um, that's a good question. Do I want that? Roar can be good, but the thing is, is that, hmm, yeah, I don't think we need it. It could be good, but we really don't need it. But Ponyta, okay, so, okay, interesting. So he has a water, a grass, and a fire type Pokemon. Huh, okay then. That's definitely something to keep a note about, just because uh, that means he might have a Rapidash later, just because of the Ponyta in general. So that could be pretty bad. Obviously, Star Raptor is definitely in his future as well, but definitely um, some interesting Pokemon. Even Float Soul is another one because of the Ble Weasel, and obviously Tor uh, Torterra for the Turtwig that he has. But. Uh, now we know what four of his final Pokemon are definitely going to be, and those four are actually kind of scary, I'll be honest. But level 25 for Weston and 21 for Bugs, not bad. Definitely some decent levels, just because we're definitely going to need them. But Grottle, okay, so he's got his evolved Pokemon already. Okay, Grottle is Grass type. Grottle is probably going to be 25-ish. So, I'm going to say Mozart is our safest option at the moment, because, like I said, we're not going to use Alice until, you know, obviously once we start getting around Alice's level, then it would feel okay for me to use Alice. 
so I don't want to use it too early, because I want our other Pokemon to catch up to Alice's level beforehand, before we start worrying if we should, you know, actually be using the Pokemon, but he's using Curse, so he's going to lower every er, speed, but raise everything else. Thankfully, it's not too many stats, thankfully, but um, attack and defense growth is still pretty good on a slow Pokemon already, so that could definitely be a problem later. But sorry, Grottle, but <laughs> because we're four levels higher than you and, well, Fury Cutter is definitely a nice little move. Sorry, but you're going down. Down you go, Barry. Sorry, bud. <laughs> what just happened? You're telling me I lost. Yep. Sorry. And $2,400, thank you. And that'll be definitely going to my piggy bank. <laughs> what? You KO'd my team again. This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest. Trainer ever. Now, I just need to get tougher. Keep winning one day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Bailso Gym next. See you around, Spooks. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time, when we meet again. <laughs> okay, well, see you later, Barry. <laughs> see you later, indeed. And we didn't take much damage, did we? So I don't think we need to worry about healing. Yeah, literally, Weston was the only one that actually got hit. So, cool. Okay, well, let's head right into the next area, then. So, Route 209, Solacion Town. Okay. Well, let's check our map, since it says to go to Veilstone, but it looks like we got a place right in between Salacion Town and then Veilstone over here. But I'm definitely saying for sure we're definitely heading into the major eastern parts of the city in general. Kanalave City. I don't remember that place. Why do I not remember that? That seems like some place I would remember, because I don't remember there being a place on the left side of the map. Past your house in this game. That's interesting. Huh. Okay then. Weird. I don't know why I don't remember that. But let's talk to- oh, hello. Hi hi. Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon Nursery in Salacion Town. Wanna take it? Sure. Hold up. You don't even seem to have enough room for an egg. Well... I'm pretty sure you could have just asked me if I wanted to swap Pokemon with the fact that, you know, we have the ability to do that in this game. Let's see here. Mozart doesn't really need to care about happiness, so we can swap him out for a second and grab this egg real quick, just because, well, there's no reason not to grab it. And if I remember correctly, this egg is for a Hapini, I think. Obviously, the baby evolution of Chansey, and, well, Final or er, first evolution of Plissy. So that's quite an interesting Pokemon. But thank you. This is what I heard about eggs. You take the egg and travel with ener um, with an energetic Pokemon, it'll hatch. Uh, not really. It's fire type Pokemon with specific ability is what you're supposed to use, but sure. Um, yeah. I remember someone an announced that Professor Elm. Of Johto, maybe. Huh, Professor Elm, you say? <laughs> it's nice to hear about the other Pokemon professors. But, uh, yeah, this egg is definitely... Probably something we're not going to use, but Blissey is definitely a pretty interesting Pokemon, for sure. But the thing is, is we have to hatch it, and while well, hatching that is definitely going to be by running. And, let's be honest here, uh... It's not probably going to hatch for a while. So, it's going to be a while. But, uh, definitely noted... There's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It got me very curious. Wrecked stone pillar, you say? Well, we do have something for some kind of wrecked stone pillar. So we can definitely check it out. Route 209. Definitely ready for it. But the thing is, is this wrecked stone pillar has definitely got my interest. So let's go see if we can find that without... Uh, oh, looks like we got a trainer in our way. I was going to say, let's go check it out without getting attacked by a trainer, but looks like that's not going to be the case. We battle together. That's why we're tough. Mm, well, okay. Let's see what you got for us, because let's be honest here. Definitely with a double battle, they can either have some really nasty Pokemon to deal with, or really easy Pokemon like Bonsley and Mr. Mime, or Mime Jr. I almost said Mr. Mime, but uh, technically, in a way, technically it is Mr. Mime, but it's the first evolution of it, but uh, yeah, definitely not the 
best thing for them. But we're definitely gonna double team the Bond Slate here. Just because I see that definitely being a good thing for us. Because leaving one Pokemon the on the field in a double battle is definitely gonna be better for us. And you never know what Mime Jr. might do. Or actually, no, the Bonsly I think is more dangerous out of the two. So, yeah. Making sure one of them's gone. Although you do have confusion. But the thing is, is you didn't get it to go off. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mime Jr. But uh, I think this is where we bid you adieu. And see you on later. And also, because you're already fairy type, still type damage does a lot of damage to you. <laughs> Sorry, Mime Jr., but you're done for. But definitely... I forgot about the fairy typing on Mime Jr., though. But thankfully the game tells you, because of the... You know, once you note something down in the newer games, it tells you when you're super effective to it. So that's definitely good. Huh. So fairy... F hmm. Fairy Psychic. I did not... I did not know that about Mr. Mime. Just because you, I don't really use him. So... Huh. Okay then. Well, they're just crying about it. Sorry, buds, but... <laughs> yeah, Bonsley and Mr. Mime is definitely not going to be your best case scenario when it comes to winning. But I'm guessing this is what they were talking about. There's a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. There seems to be a spot that would be perfect fit for an odd keystone. Um, let's wait a second on that. I'm going to save first. Just because this seems very specific. So let's save first. And then put the odd keystone in. Spooks push the odd keystone into the stone tower. The stone tower has been restored. Hollowed tower is written on it. Hollowed tower. Okay. Int oh wait, no, here we go. It's the hollowed tower. It appears to have been built many years ago. Okay. Interesting. Any specific reason for that? It was obviously a, you know, a spear tomb item, but it didn't work. Hmm. Okay then. Well, because I don't want to go too far ahead, obviously we did quite a bit in this episode, I want to go too far. So we'll read off this and then we'll probably end off today's episode. Trainer tips, you may register a key item. Oh, okay, we already know that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something interesting. But uh, with that being said, I think we're going to end off today's episode here. Just because, one, we've, we've done quite a bit with Hearth Home City, we learned the fact that we can run around with our Pokemon like in the Let's Go and Johto games, which is pretty cool. And just in general, we, you know, we got to fight off with Barry again. We met another Team Galactic member, as well as, you know, did a little bit of adventuring into uh, Mount Cornet. So with that being said, thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky. And I'll see y'all in the next one. In the next one, we'll be starting our path towards Veilstone City Gym, and preparing for our third gym battle of our story. So, with that being said, thank y'all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank y'all for watching today's episode, if you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe, and hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank y'all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.